right, guys. Me and Grape Ape 505RC with another update on this crawler, my wife's crawler. Um, first off, uh, I guess I'll, I could say is uh, I want to get a hard body for it. This Luxan body is cool, but I just don't like the fact that it has no bed. And then um, I can't get this to mount right. I keep hot glue gunning it. It ripped a chunk of the bed off, so there's not much to bolt it to, but I want to get a an actual hard body for her truck to uh, cut the, the what would be bed, I guess you could say, on the blazer, because it's a blazer, everybody knows that. Cut that and separate it, make a cab piece, and then, and then a bed piece that goes across the back on both cab and the bed. But anyway, I want to do that here soon. I don't know how soon, but it'll be soon. And then I wanted to show you guys this. Again, I had to, I bought a cheap ESC for 13 bucks. That bit me in the butt. So I bought this Hobby Wing, uh, what is it, Quick Run? Yeah, Quick Run 860 brush speed controller. And uh, it does dual motors. Come on. Connection 60 amp, 360 amp burst, suitable for 1 8 trucks, waterproof, the whole nine. Has different modes and stuff like that for it. Um, but it says it on the ESC in the instructions, but I'm not going to get that out on the ESC right down in there. That's all the different like modes and whatnot. And lipo and all that stuff um, I just ran it just not too long ago with the 16 and then that 19 down here I just picked up the 19 so I have both 19s on it now which when it was so geared weird it still crawled really good it did a real good job the motors this one barely got a little warm but not by much uh, about normal operating temperature it's not very cold outside either right now so that was a good test hit to do but uh, there's my dual Tekken motor setup on the wife's crawler it's freaking torque monster like crazy they're a 35 turn Tekken heavy duty I don't know why my phone doesn't want to focus here but you guys can see it. Um, I wish or I might come up with an idea for Shapeways or RC Nerds or Knights Customs or whoever, whatever, or just Shapeways in general. And get a cardboard template and have it where this motor sits right here on this side. Yeah, it's, it'll still be probably about almost that high up in the air. But at least it'll balance the weight on the chassis if I move this motor over here. I think would be better. So I might do a template and all that crap maybe and and see what I can do with this guy on, on that note. But um, just show you guys a little update. The uh, other ESC it freaking went out on me. So uh, this guy works good. Because it's Hobby Wings probably, but... Oh, forgot to turn on the radio. Don't forget to turn on the radio first. But uh, just to show everything works. The steering. Yes, it only has a tactic in it, but I'm going to get a better one. Because I had a Savox, but the gear stripped out inside the servo, even though they're a metal. But something cheap again. You know. But this thing works pretty damn good. Uh, this ESC, if you guys are wondering, is 38 bucks. Um, free shipping. Got here. I bought it, what, Thursday or Wednesday or something like that. And it got here like Saturday. Yeah. Got here Saturday. So that was awesome. But, uh. There it is, guys. It's all decked out and dual motors now. So, 
I thought the balance would be pretty crazy, but it's not that bad, actually. I was rather surprised that the balance is not too off, but just to help it, that would be cool to move the motor here. But uh, there you go, guys. That's all I got for you guys for now. Um, till next video, I guess, and uh, I'll see you guys on the trail or maybe in the shop again. Hopefully on the trail. <laughs>